Hmm. Is that they medically speaking I your papers are here? Let us see what the postman brought today. Local gossip, all of it uninteresting. Your order from Barnes Bookshop has arrived, Doctor. Barnes insists on delivering the books to our door, even though we could easily walk to his shop. That's good service. Another letter from Verna. I never reply, but they keep coming. I don't see the strand. Where is it? Pardon me? I am on the precipice of uncovering a pattern of the missing paper. That's my dear fellow. Well, life, but in lieu of the strand, I have just no, no. Cactus spine. If it gets in your skin, it's awfully tricky to remove, and when laced with poison, the perfect assassination tool. You were mistaken, Dr. Watson. The paper was indeed dirtied, but not how you implied. It's potting soil. See, Watson? The conspiracy is real. Someone tried to poison me. Poison? You? That's madness. Get the strand. Get your copy of the strand here. Sorry, Mr. Holmes. I just sold my blast. Boss pays. Any breaking news? The dock accident. Yes, yes. Besides, I'm not sure. You're a bright child. Nothing yet. Then tell me, did you notice? Hmm. Precisely. I know the va. Doctor, what? Sure. Did you see what he was? Nah, I don't. Can you describe? He was. Ca Never heard. Looks. Which way did he go? Not sure. All right. Thanks, Mr. Come now, Mr. Holmes. Murder? Yes, Barnes has his here. quirks, but he also has his scruples. Not every pawn knows it's part of a game. Mr. Barnes, a word. Ah, oh, for goodness sake. Who, uh, Mr. Come now, Mr. No, really, deep. Well, help yourself to... Barnes doesn't seem like himself. Why is he acting this way? You're asking the right questions, Doctor. The ladder is broken recently, judging by the freshness of the wood.
could hardly imagine anything more macabre. Basics of cryptoanalysis, cryptography in Egypt. To Piers Barnes has an interesting hobby. In the language of Mycroft's secret agents, it's a sign. Dried flowers are replaced when the job is done. I wonder who the recipient is. An improvised stand, but it does make the flowers more visible. The finest view London has to offer. Encouraging people to stop and smell the roses. Our national emblem. God save the Queen. It must take patience and care to produce a bloom so beautiful. I imagine so. I merely sell them. A familiar spine. Is this what I found in my dustbin? The pot is damaged. The blow was severe, but softened by something. Anything tickle your fancy, Mr. Holmes? Mrs. Fleming, you look particularly lovely today. It does a woman. No. But Who told you that? Nobody. Merely a keen eye and some simple deduction. Well, I'll kindly ask you to keep your keen eye to yourself, Mr. Holmes. What do you make of the flowers in Barnes' shop window? Well, they could use a bit of water. Do they mean anything to you? Mean anything how? I'm not sure I follow, Mr. Holmes. Why do you think they're there? Are you suggesting the flowers are for me? It see. Oh. One of these things is not like the other. Come again? The cactus. Those fearsome sp I was under the imp- Your guess is as good as mine. Are you familiar with Mr. Barnes? Yes. No, not really. Well, in a way. What on earth does that mean? I know who he is, of course. A look? Yes, actually. I often see... Hmm. I, uh, think perhaps I have been chasing shadows. 
Do not despair, Mr. Holmes. Even the best of us make mistakes. We better tell Mr. Barnes what we've learned. Mr. Barnes, I know what you did, and I know why you did it. I'm sorry, Mr. Holmes. You ordered a cactus from the plant catalogue, and then you played... I couldn't read this morning. I know you... Barnes? Uh, it was quite... I needed that paper to... Your clumsiness carrying the... Po oh, it's true. As in most things in life, truth is the answer. Cease with the obtruse signals and anonymous gifts, and simply talk to the woman. What is the worst that can happen? She rejects you, and you are freed from this endless purgatory. That... Yes, you are correct, of course. So, I... You had an issue of the Strand here all along? Well, so you... I... Yes, yes. Come, Dr. Watson. Let us put this matter behind us. Farewell, Mr. Barnes. I hope to hear good news about you and Mrs. Fleming. Well, that was an utter waste of time. And I said there was supposed to be... Hmm. Something you wish to say, Doctor? No. I see things that are not... Yeah, so it seems. Which brings us back to my news from earlier. I think I have a case for you, a real one. Truly? Indeed. Though perhaps not as thrilling as your stories from Cordona. A patient of mine, Captain Stenwick, told me that his servant disappeared. I said I knew... Oh, yes. It's bread. Oh. Not much further now. Is this lousy attitude of yours? Sir. <clears throat> Captain at last Sergeant R Why has the police department decided not to help? We investigate murders, that said. Have there been other disappearances lately? Of course. Now I'm <laughs> Captain, perhaps Ah yes. When did you last see your servant? Kimmy here normally. May I see your servant's bedroom? His shack is in the Did you search Of course. Tell me about his father. He doesn't. Sp I take it this is the first time Kimahir has vanished. Undoubtedly. Should he cause any death? Is there any reason Kimahir may have left? I should think not. He had all he could have wanted: gainful employment, new clothes, and all the cabbage he could eat. Did Kimahir make off with anything of value? Heavens, no! I would have mentioned it to Sergeant Ruffles. Still, he must have fled with some money on his person. No, no. I kept his wages in my safe. For security. All right, Captain. I think I have enough to get started. We shall first take a look around the mansion. Go ahead. I'll be here. Mentally drop. Looks like a knee print. A shoe print, roughly size 11, with a worn out sole. These are a workman's boots. Chewing tobacco. Someone knelt here. The amount of chewing tobacco suggests they were waiting a while. Amazing, Mr. Holmes, to read the ground like an open book. The 
rag reeks of smoke. Someone plugged the chimney. Scrap of Hessian. These were sturdy boxes. It would have required a serious blow to break them. Impressive. The sack of grain retained the shape of an impact. Someone hit their head here. A small navy spyglass. Chops, the remains of a meal. A heavy chemical odor. Lend me your nose, Doctor. Ah, I'll never forget that smell after my time in Afghanistan. That's an opioid, Mr. Holmes, an narcotic. The ashes are long since cold. Clothes made of Hessian. Is Stenwick really so miserly? A Maori nose flute. Ngurus, they're called. Is this a Tanifa, a Maori water spirit? Or something else? Either way, it's giving me chills. This lock is quite unusual. It appears that the key should be bent to the right. The door to your garden has an interesting lock. Yes, I have uncommon locks on every door of my mansion. It makes them harder to pick. Give me here and I... B I'll need... No. I came across a pile of Hessian clothes in the shack. Are they Kimahir's? Yes. I had to give him... Is this spyglass familiar? I don't recognize it. Could it be Kimahir's, perhaps? I doubt it. I never saw him with it, nor could I suggest how he might have come by it. Do you happen to know Kimahir's shoe size? I wouldn't have the foggiest, but I'm sure it was enormous. Not that it. Has Kimahir ever indulged in tobacco? No, the man doesn't even drink. Are you certain? I found chewing tobacco in the garden. I controlled Kimahir's expenses since he struggled with the currency. I would have known if he used tobacco.
could have left these tracks. They seem fresh. Someone moved a cart to this spot and then took it elsewhere. Can't see it anywhere in the garden. Surveilling from afar, the intruder waited for a window of opportunity. When Kimihir went to sleep, the man crept up to the shack and slipped narcotics down the chimney pipe, then blocked it with a cloth. Kimihir inhaled the sedative and fell into a deep sleep. The intruder tried to move him, but the man was heavier than expected. The intruder fell on the sack and dropped his spyglass. In order to transport the servant, he had to use the cart. The final challenge was opening the garden door. Luckily for our intruder, Kimahir had the key in his shack. Remarkable. It makes total sense. You'd best have found something by now. I fear that someone may have spied upon Kimmy here. Likely the owner of the spyglass I found earlier. It appears they were watching for some time, as there was an impressive amount of chewing tobacco on the ground. And your point? You said that you checked the shack earlier. Did you notice the cart tracks near it? Now one ought to expect a servant to make regular use of such a thing. Indeed, I would have overlooked the detail were it not for the cart's absence. If, as you say, Kimahir never leaves your estate, then where did it go? I expect answers from you. I found the residue of narcotics in Kimahir's brazier. There are several explanations. Cut to the... I won't keep you in suspense any longer, Captain. Kimahir, when your servant fell asleep, he slipped a narcotic... Now, hold... I own... Every second... I'm not interested in... Truly, there is no better evidence of a man's nature than the way he treats those who help him. And you, sir, are a brute. The cruelty of your ignorance about the Maori people, your selfish attitude to a man's kidnapping, 
Uh, the point is... Well, then you should have left. And in the... Sturdy rope, professionally tied in a Portuguese bowline. This knot is often used by sailors to create a bosun's chair. Wheels picked up grass along the way. Kimahia's cart, I gather. Roy Soulsby. Could that be the name of our man? A strange substance. I have my suspicions based on the color and consistency, but would you care to hazard a guess, Doctor? Well, it's odorless, but from the way it absorbs water, I'd say saltpeter. Then we're in agreement. Well done. The strand proved not so useless after all. The saltpeter accident. Doctor, do you recall? The Port of London. Of course. The footwear, the spyglass. Indeed. We shall need to take a cab there. Where to, Gav? The Port of London, please. I will show you where to stop. <laughs> 